And today I would like to try to recreate the parametric equalizer that we saw in this week video and I'm going to use Ableton Live's equalizing effect called EQ8 to do that. Now I have here a very basic setup of three channels, uh, two with the beats, one with the bass, this sounds like this. So it sounds fine by itself, but let's see if we can uh, make it sound better by creating an equalizer with all the parameters that you can find on a classic mixing console. I'm going to start by dragging a default Ableton's uh, equalizer to our master channel. And as you can see, it has four bands and we can uh, select between different options. And uh, for example, this could be a high pass. This could be a low shelf. This could be a bent pass, a notch, a high shelf, and a low pass. So let's start by um, emulating a high pass button. Remember that it was at the level of 75 Hertz and that it, w it had a Q factor of 1 and that it was a high pass filter. Next we're going to create a low shelf. I'm going to use the next band for it. And if we remember it was around 80 Hertz. Also with the Q factor of 1. Then let's create uh, a low mid band pass. I'm going to use the band number 3 for it and a high mid band pass and we'll use band number 4 for it. Finally let's add another band that we will use for the high shelf. So let's add a spectrum analysis to see how our manipulations with the equalizer are going to affect our track. I'm going to unfold it. Okay, let's see what will happen if we raise our low shelf by 3 decibel and uh, also our high shelf by 3 decibel. And if you remember, it should be at the level of 12 kilohertz. Okay, sounds fun, but... Um, I think that maybe there is a bit too many low frequencies going on now. And we can see if there are any problems in our frequency range by creating a positive band pass filter with a very narrow Q factor that we can drag left and right to see if there are any problems as we drag it across our spectrum. Okay, so it sounds like around 160 Hz we have uh, some strange resonance sound that we can try eliminating. So let's get our gain to negative 3 decibel, return it to the Q factor of 1 and try playing it again. Okay, it sounds like our low frequency range is a bit clearer now, but I've noticed that when we play our track, it looks like that we can add a little bit of equalization between 1 and, let's say, 3 kilohertz. And we can do it with our upper mid band pass by placing it here, giving it Q factor of 1, and let's raise it by 3 decibel. So let's hear out how it sounds now. I can move it a little bit. So let's hear how it sounds without equalization.
Okay, well the change is not that dramatic, but uh, that is partly what you have to be doing with an equalizer is uh, just gently applying it to your composition, looking for possible problems and uh, attenuating certain frequencies and uh, making other frequencies louder and see what works best for your mix. So that's it, this concludes my video, I hope you found this helpful, thank you for watching it.